Hey YouTube, I am Leo with RVRemodeling.net and in this video I want to show you how to replace your old or broken trickle charge solar panel that came with your RV. So this is not something like installed aftermarket but you know a stock. Uh, sometimes manufacturers put like a small 5 watt panel on your AC unit and these guys they break. So here is my old panel. Now the broken part that's me. <laughs> I broke the glass, but um, I actually used my multimeter to check if the panel works and it didn't work when I was trying to remove it and uh, got stuck and that's how it broke when I was trying, when I, when I was getting it off, but it wasn't working already and there is a little LED indicator inside the unit that was never on. So this is 5 watt made by ICP Global Tech uh, right there. Is the part number hopefully you can see that so what I did um, be careful not to scratch your your roof uh, and not to cut it because this is bare glass so what I did I got a 15 amp replacement panel so now this one is it's just like a big panel that goes on your rooftop you know it has a frame protective it's not even glass I don't think it's glass um, and it has this cable just bare contacts and uh, the old panel came with a SIA SAE connector so that broke also but I got a replacement wire the SAE wire SAE connector so there it is right there so we can now hook up into our wiring right here and make sure it's all waterproof all right so I did test this panel, unfortunately we don't have much sun right now, but I did test it when the sun was out, it gives about 18 volt of power, I don't know, I don't remember how many amps, but uh, let's try it now. Alright, so let's try that, and it gives us 18 volt of power right now, as you can see right here. So even though there is no sun, there is still electricity, <laughs> which is awesome. All right, so this panel is slightly bigger than you know, whatever was provided here. Let me move the camera closer. All right, so as I was saying, this panel is slightly bigger than this little rectangle, or this little square here, right there. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna attach it with some uh, zip ties, plastic zip ties, and I'm gonna just drill a couple of holes here, here, just to make sure it's held down. But first, let's make a connection. Now we don't need this much of a wire there, and we don't need that much of a wire on the cable that we bought. Alright, so we're going to strip this part. We don't need all this extra stuff. There is a fuse here. Uh, maybe we should keep that. I don't know. Actually, we, should, we don't need to keep it because there is a fuse in this RV just for the solar. I know that for a fact, so we're going to cut this about 10 inches long. We'll strip each end and then we'll connect them together. So I do recommend having a good pair of wire strippers. So I have this bunch of connectors here. I'm just gonna remove this plastic. Okay. 
and then we're gonna use liquid rubber to seal this guys so while let liquid rubber dry I'm gonna go and get my drill and start cutting holes in the frame okay I'll be right back all right so I got my drill what I'm gonna do now is drill a bunch of holes like somewhere over here so you want to keep this straight so when once this drill bit goes through you don't damage the solar panel Okay, so all the holes are done. Just gonna clean this up a little bit. So I'm gonna use zip ties, but later I think I will just replace it with like copper wire, insulated copper wire, just because it's gonna provide a better hold. Because the plastic may rub against this aluminum shavings, you know, sharp aluminum. It may fall off. And uh, instead of using zip ties, I'm going to use this uh, 20 amp copper wire. And uh, the reason for this, it's not going to tear when it's rubbing against against this aluminum you know this aluminum is quite sharp Okay, so last thing gotta do oh, a couple of last things. Let's test it again. Okay, so about 18 volts. And let's go see if it's working inside. So just before we go check that uh, the little LED indicator is up and running inside this is how I did my connection so if you're not sure you can run another wire right here but this is very firmly attached and uh, it's not going anywhere unless <laughs> unless this breaks which I highly doubt so I just use this 20 gate 20 amp copper wire and uh, it's firmly attached as you saw I made it tight with my pliers and that's it this is how you install the solar panel so this is echo power um, actually honestly I think they're all the same this little tiny solar panels but uh, I got this for $29 on Amazon and this wire this SI wire connector that was about another 10 bucks it's waterproof so if you need that, the link in the description below, um, this panel is pretty highly rated. Unfortunately, it doesn't have the integrated SI connector, so you have to deal with that garbage. But I actually couldn't find anything with it. It's an old connector, not really used for solar anymore, that's why it's hard to find. So if you want to get this, and uh, you do need a connector. Mine was my old one that came on the old panel, it broke, one of the pins broke, that's why I had to get a new one. But if you can, if you manage to take off your old solar panel and uh, salvage the connector, you don't need to buy it. 
again that's just 30 bucks and uh most of you should have you know 15 20 amp copper wire laying around so you don't need to buy that uh, so the whole the total cost is about 40 bucks for me it could be 30 dollars for you again prime on amazon free shipping note uh leave very little tax depends on where you live okay let's go inside and take a look all right so as you can see this is this led is on and before it was never on because that little solar panel was dead and uh so why did i use 15 watt solar panel um there's two reasons number one it's uh it's three times more powerful than the original one so there's going to be more charging number two you're not going to get your whole house running on that small panel your whole coach you know there's just not enough juice and you need a you need a whole new system like inverter charge controller new new wiring and uh so on if you want something powerful i think the most you can put on it is 45 watts because that uh that solar panel this light is connected to a three amp uh fuse in the fuse box in the front of the coach so uh you could use up to 45 watts but i think it's overkill number one and number two i think it's dangerously high for the thin wiring that this runs on so basically the 15 amp will give you enough juice to keep your battery charged you know slowly trickle charge your battery from the sun and uh, make sure that you never have a dead battery it's, it will never be enough to run your whole coach from that little thing up on the roof so and uh 15 amp is low enough that it's not gonna burn the wiring because it's not enough current and uh, not enough amperage to burn the wiring just one amp there so it's pretty safe to run and uh you know it's cheap enough and it works you know that's all you need is to keep your battery charged with this now if you want some serious solar power going on you need a lot more watts you need a lot more space and you need a separate wiring separate inverter charge controller all that good stuff probably more batteries all together and we'll get to that in the future i'm actually going to do solar in a rear part of this coach there is a lot of open space but this is how you get your trickle charge solar panel going just replace the old one now this is fleetwood uh southwind but there are many manufacturers around 2000 something that were doing this so if you have that trickle charge solar panel and it's not working chances are it's not because most of them break this is how you replace it thanks for watching again if you want that solar panel uh if you want to get it link in the description on amazon and uh please like and subscribe come back for more videos so next one will be roof repair you saw a lot of caulking on my roof and i uh, will talk about roof repair in the next video make sure you come because i am actually a commercial roofer that's my background before i got into rving and uh <laughs> guys have been all doing it wrong for a long time so i'll show you how to do it right well not not uh you specifically but most people that teach you how to do roof repair on an rv are doing it wrong okay thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video